Tonight, the alleged attack at El Dorado High School still upsetting many here in the Valley. Teachers are demanding answers and students are speaking out about what's really happening inside our schools. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Dave Cravassier. Trisha has the night off. 16 year old student Jonathan Martinez Garcia now facing over a dozen charges, but this case now has teachers demanding changes. Early morning commuters were met with the sounds of protesters along Sahara Avenue as teachers took to the street in front of Clark County School District headquarters. And now former and current students are speaking out. We have live team coverage tonight as we continue to dig deeper into this issue. Reporter Jeremy Chin uh, sits down with a former El Dorado student who says he is floored by this news. But first, we send it out to anchor Paulina Butska, who spoke to teachers who held a large protest this morning. So, Paulina, what changes do they want to see? Well, Dave, today it wasn't just teachers. It was teachers, it was uh, students, and it was students' parents today. And they were all raising their voices up to Superintendent Jara's office and his administration demanding safety in schools. We can't wait. We can't wait. For nearly two hours, over 100 teachers, students, and parents converged on CCSD headquarters, making their message clear. What do we want? Safe schools! In the crowd, Tirsa Bowman. She's been with CCSD even before she worked as an educator. I graduated from Clark County School District in 1991. I graduated from Edward W. Clark High School. Both of my daughters are products of Clark County School District. Bowman says she teaches in a particularly tough part of central Las Vegas. I chose that area because I feel like it is highly ignored, highly ignored. And I want to be over there because I feel like, you know, for those of us that are doing it from the heart, you know, then that's why we're there. It's, it's not about a paycheck. If we were looking for more money, we would have left education a long time ago. She, along with fellow educator Mercedes Kraus, both have seen the violence at CCSD schools grow over the years can feel things bubbling up with the, the overcrowding, you know, now with being 1,500 teachers short, having so many students in classrooms. If there's a troubled student, if there's someone who needs extra help, if there's someone who's troubled in this terrible way, when you have so many students in your class, how are you supposed to be able to connect with them in order to detect that? This list of goals might, as be, uh, might also be seen as a list of demands. And that's fine with me. Society demands so much out of public education, and it is high time that public education demands a little too. The list of short-term goals, intercoms and classroom emergency buttons and someone to receive signals at all times, working surveillance cameras in every school, a clear policy on how to handle violence in the classrooms, and a comprehensive safety plan published to the school district's website. CCSD says, they're working on it. As an educator who said yourself that you've heard this before, that these are just empty promises. Well, what what is the capability? What are the capabilities when everyone is, you know, pulled so so short?